Hello and welcome back. Here is my recipe for a vegan lemon cheesecake, which actually is gluten free as well, which is even better. So, to start off, you need to line your tin. Now this recipe is gonna be enough for about 12 to 14 people. So I'm using a 30 centimeter tin, which I've lined with parchment paper. Okay. So, you've got that done ready. Now this recipe you absolutely need a food processor for. Some recipes you can substitute with just chopping or crumbling or whatever, but this one you absolutely do need a food processor. So um, it's worth going to get one, I think, just for this recipe because it's amazing. Or borrow one from a mate or have a look on Free Cycle or I can lend you mine. Right, so you start off with whole almonds, 300 grams, and you want to whack them in your food processor. This is the noisy bit. Okay, they're done. Now, they need to look sort of a little bit coarse like that, but mostly ground up. So once they're ground up, keep the food processor on and we're going to slowly add 600 grams of dates. Now these ones are literally just, I just got them in Morrison's, they're like just dried pitted dates. Okay, make sure they're pitted or it won't taste good. So we're going to add bit by bit, add a handful start off and another handful and now I'm going to bung the rest of them in and I'm also going to add about 100 mils of water lukewarm water Whoop. Okay. I forgot to add a pinch of my favourite molden sea salt. Crystal salt is so delicious. Sprinkle of that. Whack the lid back on. Give it a mix. I'll show you what it looks like. So you're going to have something that looks like that, okay? Now we're going to scoop this out and pop it into the tin. Get it all off the blades. Yummy dates and almonds. So now you want to really carefully press it into the base of the tin. Try and get it as even as you can. <sighs> right, that takes a little bit of work, but it's worth it. So you want to have it all flattened out, nice and even like that. Okay, so I'm a bit of a cheat, so instead of washing out my food process. I'm just going to give it a quick wipe with the kitchen roll. It's a little bit of water, not so paper, but hey, it's quicker. Right, now, food processor back on. Such a cool recipe, it's so quick as well. Right, this is for the filling, like the sort of creamy vegan substitute. I've got 600 grams of cashews. I soaked these for two hours with sort of like warm water so they're nice and soft which turns them into a really nice creamy texture once they're blended up. So 600 grams of cashews and uh, four, is it four, it's good? 300 millilitres of coconut oil. Now I've melted this in the microwave because you don't want it lumpy, you want it you want it melted but not hot, so you want to melt it and then let it cool for a little bit. 
I've just gone for organic virgin coconut oil, but you can use any brand. As long as it's the oil and not the butter, make sure you check. So we're going to put 300 mils of that into and we're going to put the juice and zest of two lemons. Nice. And we're going to whiz that up. Right, now I'm going to add some maple syrup. Uh, this is just a Morrison's maple syrup, you can use any type, it doesn't matter. And I'm going to put in about 180 millilitres of maple syrup. Seems like a lot, but if you think that you're not using sugar, then actually it's not the, like the equivalent. So I'm going to pop that in there. Now it does take quite a bit of blending. I'm now going to scrape the sides down just to make sure that all the bits of cashews are all blended in. Because some of the lumps can go at the sides. So bang it on again. Okay. I'm going to test it just to make sure it's lemony enough. Show you what it looks like. It looks like that. It looks a bit like porridge. Oh my god, that is so amazing. Oh wow. Okay, now that that's all blended up and it looks like that, I'm going to pour it over the top of my base. Spread it evenly again over the top. Okay, so I'm going to put this in the freezer for about 20 minutes and then when I get it out I'm going to decorate it. Okay? Okay, so we're out of the freezer. I'm going to get it out of the tin. I'm going to pull the outside paper off first. Right, so we've got that off. Now I've got a, a nice cake stand to display it on. I'm gonna pop it on there. Like that. It's come out nicely. Still got the grease proof on the bottom, but that's okay, that can come away when, when you're cutting it. So I've got a selection of really nice fruit. I've got some lovely raspberries. I'm gonna put some of those on first. I quite like fruit just being bunged on, not perfectly. Just have it a bit kind of haphazard. It generally looks tastier when you just bang it on. Raspberries, now I'm gonna put some blueberries on as well. So this is actually quite a healthy pudding. Oop! Ah. I've got all that lovely coconut oil, the cashews, the nuts, the dates, the fruit. We're going out tonight and this is the pudding that I'm taking with us. So I'll let you know what it tastes like. Now, I'm going to add some cherries as well, but I'm going to keep the stalks on, just because it looks nice with the stalks on. Now, I'm also going to add, just to give it a little bit of an extra flair, I've melted 50 grams of dark chocolate, um, so that's vegan chocolate as well, anyone will do. Now, I melted that. I'm just going to drizzle it all over the top. Now, 
And there you go. There is my vegan cheesecake. Oh, I've forgotten one thing actually. <laughs> okay, I've got another lemon and I've got a zester. I'm gonna, oh, chocolate. <laughs> I am gonna do some lemon curls just to go on the top. Just for a bit of extra color. And there we go. Yummy, yummy, yummy.